Uh, hey, go ahead. Thank you, Jen. You're not going to believe this. I have another question about Build Back Better. I'm ready. Uh, so the president says that the Build Back Better is not going to add a penny to the deficit. The CBO has this new score uh, where they assume that social programs are going to be made permanent, and in that case, it would add almost three trillion dollars. So does that mean that President Biden will commit that these programs are not going to be made permanent? Well, first of all. What we're, you're talking about here is a fake CBO score that is not based on the actual bill that anybody is voting on. This was a ask request by Senator Graham to score a bill that is not currently being debated. Uh, that is her pro his prerogative to, t to do, uh, but what our focus is on is on the existing bill that will lower the deficit, uh, that will also, over an additional 10 years, pay for the $2 trillion tax cuts that Republicans didn't pay for. They're welcome for that. So I would say, Peter, to your uh, question, the president has conveyed very clearly, multiple times publicly, that he would like programs, if they're extended, to be paid for. That remains his commitment. But it's important to understand that when you, when anybody raises a question about this new CBO score, it is a fake score about a f bill that doesn't exist. Uh, and we should really focus on the actual bill everybody's uh, going to vote on and considering in Congress right now. Okay, another topic. Is Vice President Harris still in charge of addressing the root causes of migration from El Salvador, Honduras, and Guatemala? She is, and I just announced a, a commitment that she's announcing this afternoon. So then why is it that she has not spoken to the President of Guatemala since June? That's six months. Well, I know that I, I did see this kind of strange report uh, from the president of Guatemala saying that uh, he's had no contact with the White House, which is inaccurate. No, he, didn't uh, say the he said uh, Vice President Harris. He has not spoken to her. And if she's in charge, why, why is that? Well, we have had a range of conversations, Peter, I think as reflected in our readout we put out last week with our national security advisor, with the vice president's national security advisor, with our NSC senior director, Juan Gonzalez. Uh, we put out an extensive readout of that uh, just last week and we'll continue that high level of engagement. Okay, uh, final topic. Do you think it's possible that big cities are dealing with these smash and grab robberies right now, an increase in criminal activity because some prosecutors are too soft on crime? Uh, I would say we have seen, I'm not going to attribute the reasoning from here. What I will tell you is we have seen an increase in crime over the course of the pandemic. There are a range of reasons for that. Um, and what we're f our focus is on is what we can do to address it. The president has proposed additional funding in the budget to make sure local police departments and cops have the funding they need. Uh, we have also worked directly with police departments in areas where they are seeing the highest impact of the crime, the retail theft, which, theft, which we have great concern about. That's what our focus is on currently, is action and doing what we can to make sure the funding is out there to the communities that need it the most. But I guess, what good does it do if you're going to give police departments extra money if they arrest bad guys and they bring them to jail and then they're not prosecuted they're just right back out on the streets I, I think Peter what our focus is on is making sure that uh, the local uh, leaders the police officers and departments who know what they need for these communities have the assistance and the funding they need and that's what we're working around the clock on so, so the final one would be just in the last week uh, we saw a New York Post item about a pickpocket with more than 30 arrests back out on the street uh, we've seen an arsonist burn down a half a million dollar Christmas tree in New York City back out on the streets. Does the president think that that's good governing? Again, I think I've spoken to the president's concerns about retail theft. If you have specific and, and the actions we've taken for specific cases, I would point you to the local police departments or the Department of Justice. Go ahead, Kelly.